Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to edit orders that have been made on your Fastos e-commerce website builder store. So this could be customers made an order and they've made an error or they need to change the quantity of items they've ordered or something like that. So let's take a look. So I'm already logged into the store section of my uh, my package and there's a couple of ways we can get to the editor. So if we go over, hover over my sales there, we can go to orders or order editor. Let's start with orders. So I've only got three orders on my store here, uh, but if I wanted to edit this one at the top here, we could just click on that and go to edit order. And that would bring up the order editor for that, for that order. So we can see we can edit any of these. Uh, or alternatively, you can also just go to under my sales, you can go to the order editor and you'll get a, a slightly different list there. And you can see they've got sort of color coded circles to show the status of that order, uh, the, the payment status and the, 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 the status of the order if, if it's been shipped or if it's in processing. So if we go, I just click on that one there and we can edit this. So this is kind of self-explanatory now. Um, we can edit the customer details. Uh, on this one, it was paid by cash, but if it was paid by, if it was um, being sent or a bit card payments, those details would be on here. Um, and also a shipping address or anything like that. If that was in the order, you'd be able to edit that from here too. So we can do quite a lot of stuff here. I could say we can edit that, but what's quite useful is we can change some of the orders uh, from here. So we could, for example, we could decrease the price of the apples here, change the, number, the change the quantity, um, change the SKU, change the size, basically pretty much everything with it. We could also add a product too. Um, so if we uh, if we you'd have to know the product. Uh, so if they said, oh, can I have some blueberries, for example, we'd just get the details on blueberries and pop it in here uh, and just add products. So you can kind of put custom things in there, which is really useful. And also uh, you can change all of the um, things like the tax as well. Change the shipping costs, add a handling fee, add a discount if you need to uh, after the fact, which is useful. Now, a couple of things that are worth noting when you're, order, when you're editing this order. Firstly, uh, if I change the quantity of these apples, so if I said that they wanted two of those now, and save that that's not going to update the stock of my apples okay so you'd need to go to the product page and manually update the stock quantity if you make any changes in an order editor there and also uh, if you change the price so for example if we added on i don't know three round shipping fee for example uh, save that so that changes up to seven pound there's no way for you to automatically uh, take the money from this page so you're going to have to arrange that payment with your customer or if it's a partial refund if you're removing products or anything like that you'd have to refund them the difference through either their payment method or you can speak to your customer and find out the best way to do it but that's all there is to it for editing orders so that's the end of the video thanks very much for watching goodbye for now